Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our distillation experiment. In this experiment, we will use distillation to separate a mixture of two volatile liquids with different boiling points. Our unknown mixture will consist of two of the liquids from the following table. We will use both simple and fractional distillation to separate the liquids in our unknown mixture. We will then use gas chromatography to compare our results from the simple and fractional distillations. We will also construct a graph of distillation temperature versus total volume of distillate collected, which will help us approximate the boiling points of the two liquids in our unknown mixture. Let's get started. We first need to add eight milliliters of our unknown mixture of liquids and a boiling stone to a 10 milliliter round bottom flask. For this experiment, we'll be using unknown number two. We've now set our 10 milliliter round bottom flask with our eight milliliters of unknown on an aluminum block on a hot plate and we've connected our 10 milliliter round bottom flask to our simple distillation apparatus. Our 10 milliliter round bottom flask is connected to a connecting adapter, which is in turn connected to a water cool condenser and a vacuum adapter, and we will condense our distillate into a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. The water enters our water cooled condenser here and exits our water cooled condenser here. And you will notice that we've inserted a vernier temperature probe into our simple distillation apparatus and we will monitor the temperature of our distillation with the vernier temperature probe. Note that the probe extends below the side arm of the connecting adapter. We will now begin our simple distillation by turning on the hot plate and heating our unknown liquid mixture in our 10 milliliter round bottom flask until it boils rapidly. We'll then adjust the hot plate so that we collect one drop of distillate every five seconds. Beginning at a volume of 0.5 milliliters in our 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, we will record the temperature every 0.5 milliliters. After we have collected one milliliter of distillate, we will remove the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder and collect the next three to four drops of distillate in a gas chromatography vial and cap tightly. We will then resume collecting the distillate in the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Once we've collected 5.0 milliliters of distillate, we will take another sample of distillate in a second GC vial. We'll then continue the distillation until 0.5 milliliters of unknown remains in the round bottom flask. We've now collected 0.5 milliliters of distillate, so we, we will begin recording the temperature every 0.5 milliliters. We've collected one milliliter of distillate, so we will now collect the next three to four drops of distillate in a GC vial.
We're now at five mils, so we'll take our next three to four drops in a GC vial. We will next be performing a fractional distillation and the first thing we need to do is prepare our fractionating column. We'll take an air condenser and pack the air condenser with about 0.8 grams of steel cleaning pad material so that our fractionating column looks like this. We then need to insulate our fractionating column by wrapping it with two layers of Tigon tubing. And this is our prepared fractionating column that's been insulated with two layers of Tigon tubing. We can now set up our fractional distillation apparatus. This is our fractional distillation apparatus. We've added eight more milliliters of our unknown number two to our 10 milliliter round bottom flask, which has been placed on an aluminum block on a hot plate. To our 10 milliliter round bottom flask, we've connected our fractionating column, our connecting adapter, our water cooled condenser, our vacuum adapter and we will collect our distillate in a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Also connected to our connecting adapter is a thermometer adapter with a vernier temperature probe inserted into the apparatus, which we will use to monitor the temperature of our distillation. We will be using the same procedure for our fractional distillation as we did for our simple distillation. After collecting 0.5 milliliters of distillate in our 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, we will record the temperature of our distillation for every 0.5 milliliters of distillate that we collect. We will collect a GC sample of our distillate at one milliliter and five milliliters. We've collected the first 0.5 milliliters. We'll now record the temperature every 0.5 milliliters. We're now at one milliliter, so we need to collect three to four drops of distillate.
We've collected five milliliters of distillate, so we'll now collect three to four drops in our GC vial. Okay, students, you can now use our distillation curves and our GC chromatographs to identify the two liquids in our unknown mixture. This concludes our distillation experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.